Hey guys, it's All Things Adam here, and today we have a 130 second scale model tractor review. So let's get into it. Okay, this is the tractor we're going to be reviewing today. It's a 130 second scale New Holland T8 360. Get that to focus. This is a model produced by Ertl, or Tommy, Tommy Toys. It is a high detail prestige series tractor. It has a start with the cab in the rear of the machine. It has a hitch with just a standard pin and model 3 plane arms. You can hook up your standard 130 second scale implements to it. Here I have a big baler, which I will do a review of later. This is not really showing up. Alright. Just give me a second, I'll show you how this hooks. Okay, we are back. And get some more light so it just drops in and you push the lever backwards you have to lift and go back and then it will lock and then to take it off take the lever lift drop it down unhook and pull ahead with the tractor now duals they have inner wheel weights on the outside tires the inside's just a plain Ertl axle inside the dual as well. There are any inner tire dual weights on the inside dual. Um, tires are independent, but on a common axle. Uh, dual weights on both sides. It has dual rear lights on the fenders. So it's a little dusty. And sitting on a shelf. Uh, it's got the rear light bars for the duals are actually very nice they can swivel up and down so you can fold them up as if you didn't have duels on it and then bring them down I always run them at an angle it looks better and then on the right side of the tractor you have a just a side this is before um, the fuel filters or the exhaust filters and the exhaust stack so it's before the big exhaust tractors uh, it's got the side pillar, it's got mirrors on both sides that swing backwards and outwards, dual beacons, Starfire GPS, or not Starfire, um, RTK GPS, and then on the other side, you have your def tank, gas tank, a step to get up to the engine, and they have stairs to the cab. Inside the cab, it's got buddy seat, chair, along with the side wonder 2 command station the steering wheel will turn as you turn the tractor and it's got the direction selector in the cab right above my finger there and then moving down to the front it's got dual front wheels fenders turning is very nice on the underside you can see the turning mechanism which is quite simple, just standard Ertl. They also have a driveline detail down there. And the tires, um, just standard connectors, look actually quite realistic to the one that we have on our farm. And then the front counterweight is okay. It would have been nice to see more. Okay, so as I was saying before I got interrupted by a phone call, it would have been nice to see more of an individual weight detail on the counterweight. But other than that, it's very nice. Got the pin holder in the front like the real ones do. And then the hood looks very nice. The lights are actually built into the hood. They aren't just stickers like on the 164th models. Um, it's got the little lineup. New Holland logo in the front. This is all molded into the hood, which is very nice. Um, this part, it's not actual mesh. Um, this is not actual mesh as well. It's just cut out into the hood. Other than that, it's very nice. The overall opinion on this tractor, it's very nice, like it a lot, it's actually very nice to play with and drive around as well as have it sit on a display shelf. So I would highly recommend this one if you can find them still, they're getting kind of hard to find, but I like it a lot and thanks for watching.